Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I'm just doing some casual makeup. Um, I do have my shirt. Again, I like to match my makeup with my shirt. Um, so as you can see, it says period with a T at the end. So I guess that's period. So we're gonna use the Morphe 35Y Aura Skate Palette. I'm gonna put a little you know, pink in there and see what we can create. Probably mix a few shades, probably some pink and a little bit of gold and see what we can create. Um, so if this is your type of content, sit back, relax, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and set my face. Um, I've been doing this little trick here before I do my eyeshadow. That way my products are set into my skin and they have time to just settle in before I do, you know, my foundation and things like that. So now that that is on, I'm gonna go ahead and do my face primer as well. I'm still using my Catrice primer. We're gonna go ahead and use it and get the skin primed, nice and primed. That way, again, my products can be settled, you know, settled in before I apply my foundation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rub that in. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm loving this warm weather. Another day, as I say, another day, God is good. We're still here, we're still breathing, still kicking, so. I know I'm ready for the warm weather. I'm sure you guys are too. I don't know, some people hate the warm, so. But I am a warm girl. But I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids and we'll go ahead and get started with shadow. So I'm gonna use my Farah's eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna put that on today. I haven't used this in a while. I like these little tube eyeshadow primers. I think that was way too much, but it's okay. We'll make it work. So we're just gonna use this Morphe palette here. See what look we can create. I need to wash my makeup brushes again. How often do you guys wash your makeup brushes? I shoot probably for once every three weeks, once every two weeks, between two and three weeks, sometimes once a month. And that's really bad if you do your makeup brushes once a month because your skin's gonna start to break out, so. But it is what it is. All right. So I am in the Morphe 35Y RSKA palette, artistry palette. I love this palette and I love these colors. So I am going to use a transition color, of course, to start off with. So I'm probably just gonna dip into these two browns up here and get started. So I'm using my Wet n Wild blending brush here and I'm just going to dip into these two transition colors here tap off the excess and start applying it on my eyelid. Oh my goodness. I forgot how pigmented these eyeshadows are. So this is a recommendation. If you have not purchased the Morphe 35Y artistry palette get it because these shadows are very pigmented there's so many colors in here that you can choose from yeah go get it all right so i'm just going to use the same brush because it's just like browns on there but i'm using the same brush and i think i'm going to go in with so i got pink and gold on there so i'm going to go in with a pink so i'm going to start off with the light pink here and i'm just going to tap off the excess and put it on my eyelid you see how pigmented that is? You see how that just went over that orange eyeshadow like that? Like it just, I don't know, just covered it right on up. That's awesome. That's what I love in an eyeshadow palette. When they're that pigmented and they can cover up like that, that's awesome. So I'm just gonna dip into it again and do the next eye. I'm gonna build it up just a little bit more because I really want you guys to see this color or these colors. This color is very pretty. It's like a baby pink kinda. I really like it. All right, so there's that color there. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead in with the deeper shade here. And it has some sparkles in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some shimmer in there. I'm gonna see what this does here. And I think I'm just gonna apply it to half of my eyelid. And I'm gonna use the same brush. You see how that color is? You see how pigmented that is? It's beautiful. And I'm just gonna tap it in to like half of my eyelid and see what I can do. I noticed that tapping products in like the eyeshadows, it, I don't know, it defeats like the creasing and stuff on the eyeshadow as well. So we're gonna do that. This is so pretty. Of course, I will blend out the edges because it does look kind of splotchy, but yeah, I'm just tapping in on my eyelid here, just like halfway. And then I think what I'm gonna do is just put like gold in the front part of my eyelid, my, yeah, front part of my eyelid and see what we can create there. So there's that. Again, I'm just gonna do this for the next eye here. Just tapping it in, half of the eyelid. And guys, I am not a makeup professional. Like I said, I am not a makeup professional. I am just somebody that likes to play with makeup and I just create looks on my own. I just go with it. As soon as I pull the palette out, I'm going with it to see what I can create. Freehandedly, so. So we're just tapping this in. Again, these are very pigmented. I like it. It's beautiful, beautiful color. And I love pink. You guys know I love pink, so hey. Can't go wrong with pink. And you know what? I think I'm gonna build it up a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I like want it to really pop. And I'm not even tapping off the excess on the last part. So that should tell you right there. Yeah, that's better. See, you see how much better you can see that color than like this side? So yeah, that's what we're gonna do here. I'll never forget when this palette came out, I was like, I gotta get that. That is so pretty. You can create so many looks with it. I know that when it came, you know, when I got the palette, it came with like a couple looks that you can create with the palette. And um, I was so excited to use it. But yeah, I love these colors because they're very pigmented. Okay, now that we've been blending out the pink eyeshadow for about 20 minutes, let's go ahead and do some gold. You see that? That shimmer white color? Hmm. I wonder what that would look like. Maybe if I mix those two colors. Let's see. All right, so if it's too white, then I'm going to bring it down with a little gold. All right, so I'm dipping into this color here, the enlightened color, and I'm going to put it in the front of my eyelid. So let's see what happens, y'all. Oh, no, that's pretty. See that? That's pretty. I ain't even got to spray my brush. I don't even think I have to use a, you know what? You know what I'm going to do. You guys already know what I'm going to do already. Uh, yep, this is it. I'm going to put that finger right in there and we're going to blend it on the eyelid. Look at that. Look at that. See now that I like that. That's what I'm talking about. You guys know I love my shimmers and my glitters. That is too pretty right there. Look at that. See that? I'm gonna put some more on there. And I'm not going nowhere. That's the funny thing. I'm not going anywhere at all. I'm just here. Just here at home, just chilling. Said I was just gonna do a video. So there's that. You see that? All right, so I'm gonna do the next eye. It is very pigmented. You can really build up these colors here. And you know with this look, you're gonna need some lashes with this bad boy. Cause I kind of want to add like eyeliner to the top of my eyelid because it's so pigmented. It's so pigmented and so pretty. And it makes me want to build up the color even more. Like I'm gonna go ham with this glitter for some reason. I don't know. I just like the contrast, I guess, and the buildup of it, of the color.
All right, so there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush and blend out the edges here. Tone it down some. All right, so there's that, like, there it is. I know I look kind of funny right now, but I'm about to put some eyeliner on it and put some lashes on, and it's gonna look really cute. So stick around, we're gonna keep going. So I have this big fat liner, this eyeliner. I had received this in BoxyCharm. You guys, I can't say enough about BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm, if you're watching, you're killing it because every month I'm purchasing BoxyCharm. None of my videos are sponsored with BoxyCharm, guys. So you guys need to check them out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the eyeliner here. Hopefully I don't mess it up, but let's see here. So the two things that I'm trying to get used to doing on camera is wing liner, cream bronzer. Well, actually it's three. Wing liner, cream bronzer, and lashes. I'm trying to get used to doing those on camera. Okay, so there's one eye, there's the right eye. So the thing is, right eye, you know, I'm right-handed. So the thing is, let's see if we can get the left eye to look like the right eye. That's the challenge right there. So I always try it with wing lighter, I'm not a pro. I try to start from the middle, like so, I'm gonna try and do it from the middle, like so right here, and just draw it out to the end of my eyelid. And then when I get to the corner, kind of drag it out just a little bit more and then create like a V. So you're like doing like a backwards V. You're bringing it back in. So like taking it and going like right back in to match the line. And see, the thing is with liquid liner, you can't really tell like on camera unless like you're really like super duper close but yeah I kind of like drag it back in and I know it's not going to be perfect I'm not a pro at wing liner I'm just experimenting I'm trying so like that And then sometimes with my eyes, mine don't even, so I'm looking at my eyes here. This one's more up, so I'm gonna do it up. So I'm gonna do it like this. Oh Lord. There you go. The only way that you can get good with this is if you practice. I'm not good with wing liner. I'm gonna go clean it up here in just a minute because it is a hot mess. You're not gonna get everything perfect all the time. 
I could have taken an e.l.f. liner tape and, you know, put it upon my eye, but I want to try and do things free-handedly myself. But, you know, if I have to, then I'll do it next time. But for now, I'm just going to continue with the wing liner. Just bring it up just a hair. And then I'm going to take my baby wipe and just clean up the edges because that's as much as I'm doing. I'm not doing no more. I look like a hot mess. All right, so I've cleaned up my edges. I just took a baby wipe. You guys, yes, I use a baby wipe because it's more gentle on my skin. Some of the makeup wipes that they have these days, they like literally sting my skin. I have sensitive skin. So I did clean up the edges of my eyeliner so it doesn't look as bad. They look a little bit more you know, decent, but hey, it is what it is. So now that the eyeliner is done, as you can tell, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my foundation. So I have been using the Maybelline 30 Hour Foundation. Um, I am currently in the shade, what is this? Toffee Caramel. Now, as you can tell, if you look at this foundation next to me, you can tell that this is a little bit darker. So what I've been doing, I've been implementing the LA Girl Pro Mixing Foundation. So this is white, of course. So what I do is I will pump like, maybe like a pump. Yeah, just a pump. That was a lot that came out. So I'm just gonna pump a pump on here. And then I'm going to take like maybe half a pump. I'm gonna try for half a pump because this is very pigmented as well. Just like that. So I just took like half a pump, that's it. And I'm going to mix it up on my palm of my hand, on the back of my hand, uh, because the foundation is too dark. So me doing that, that helps, you know, tone down the foundation, not make it as dark as it is. I'm just gonna take a baby wipe and wipe my fingers off because foundation just went under my finger now. So as you can see, it changed the color of it. So I'm just going to apply it with my brush and put it on my face. And it's not as dark. Yes, it is dark, but it's not as dark as it would be if I didn't apply the pigment color on there. I love the pigment mixer because it can straighten out any look that you have. And I'm actually applying my foundation the old school way, as you guys can tell on camera. I'm doing it the old way. Just doing regular foundation, then applying concealer and all that good stuff there. The only thing that I don't like about white is that it can get dirty so quickly. So you have to really be careful with your makeup because you don't want that to get stained or anything like that because white is hard to, you know, clean even with bleach sometimes. So I'm just taking some concealer and dotting around some areas. I have some blemishes. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with my concealer. And currently I am using the CoverGirl concealer. You can never go wrong with this concealer, y'all. This is some full coverage concealer. You can never go wrong with it. And for my foundation twins, I am using the color golden honey so we're gonna let this sit on here for a couple minutes and then we're gonna blend it out and another trick like if you're just getting into makeup if your foundation is dark and you have like a little bit lighter concealer and you're wanting to lighten up the foundation you can do it old school there's no rules to makeup don't let nobody tell you different you can use the concealer and like you know, you can put it underneath your under eyes. Here, I'll show you. You can put it underneath your under eyes. Back in the day, they used to put it like right here. I'm not gonna put a lot, but, and then they put it down on your chin, like that, and blend it out. And then when you blend it out, then it creates, you know, the perfect look right here. All right, so there's that. Um, we're gonna let that sit in for a couple minutes. Now, I'm not gonna let the foundation sit on my forehead and my chin very long because or like right here so i have it on my nose on my chin i'm not gonna let it sit very long but i'm gonna go ahead and blend that out 
I said foundation, I'm not going through concealer sit for too long on those areas. So you're gonna go ahead and blend it out. And I just use my foundation brush, why not? Because I end up using my foundation brush even whenever I'm doing my concealer because the thing is like you're blending it in and then you want the leftover product of the foundation from the brush to blend in that concealer. So, and you could even raise your concealer higher up here. Like we could do this, look. You could even raise your concealer up here. I know it's a lot, but you could do this. I'm just showing you, I'm not gonna do this every day, but you could do it like that and it's gonna create a lifted look. So your eyes are gonna lift a little bit, so. And the reason why I brought up the pigment foundation is because I've been running into the problem to where my foundation um, is my summer foundation. You know, if I put on my winter foundation, then the winter foundation is too light. And then I put on the summer foundation and it's too dark. That's why I went and got me the pro color mixing. That way you can lighten it up a little bit, but not be too light. You know what I mean? So it's blending in more and you don't look too dark. You know what I'm saying? So. This comes in really handy. I got this at CVS. I think mine was about $10. So if you want, you can go and purchase that if you'd like. That way, if you have you know darker foundations, this will really help you out. Only one pump or half a pump would do wonders for your foundation because you don't need that much foundation on the back of your hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my under eyes here and see you know how it's looking. And a trick that I just learned here, which I'm sure you guys probably already know it too, but I've been taking my finger and blending out my concealer. And then what I do, because you know, if you guys notice whenever you put on your makeup, that right here, like in the front of your eye, like in the front of your eyelid right here, and then on this side as well, it tends to be white. You know what I'm saying? It's like really lighter than the rest of your, you know, the rest of your face. Cause it's kind of hard to get in between your, eyes you know with the foundation and even with the foundation brush but what I do is take my finger blend out the concealer and then I will put my ring finger right here in the front of my eye right in front of my eye right in front of there and I blend that up that way there's not such a you know white contrast from your foundation in your eye you know what I mean because like right here even like if you wear glasses too you could do that um, so we'll just go ahead and do this right here too Okay guys, I do apologize. My audio decided to start acting up while I was recording this part. Basically what I'm doing through this video, this part right here that's acting up, I'm just blending out my concealer with my finger and then I'm taking my eyeshadow brush and blending out the edges if there was like any concealer, you know, from up in there. And then I'm taking my foundation brush and blending it in, you know, with my concealer so that there's no contrast. I like to do that because there's product that's left over on the brush, that way you don't, see such a big difference from your foundation and your concealer and then we're just going to be touching up the eyes with the eyeliner um, that's because i blended out the foundation with the concealer so there's a little product on there again so you do have to do touch-ups but it's really quick it's really simple it's really easy again i do apologize for the audio and basically we're just touching up and we're going to set the face and we're going to go from there okay so now we're just taking my real techniques setting powder brush and then we're just blending that under eyes, just getting really good into them creases right there, blending out the creases. And then here in just a few moments, we're gonna go ahead and take that CoverGirl Clean Press Powder, and we're just gonna go ahead and set the remainder of our face. I'm going to blend the rest of my face with my CoverGirl Clean and Clear Translucent Setting Powder. And I have it in translucent. So we're just gonna do that. So we're gonna put on some lashes and I'm gonna use the So Wispy number six by INV, which is Kiss. So we're gonna put these on. I'll put them on camera for you, just because I like you. I'll go ahead and put them on. 
So I'm still using the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. All right, so I'm gonna line my lash here. I'll let you guys see it. I'm gonna line my lash. And then I'm going to line my eyelid, my lash line. And I'm going to put on my mascara. See, I'm glad I thought of this now before I put on my lashes or I was gonna be mad. All right, so I'm gonna line my lashes. And just take a little thin coat of lash glue. All right, and now we're gonna line the eyelid. And then let that dry down to about 30 seconds or so and pop this bad boy on. We are gonna use tweezers again because that one looks almost perfect me doing that one. So I'm just gonna take my tweezers. You're gonna aim towards the middle and put on the lash. So I'm gonna aim towards the middle. See it there? And look, that's as close as you can get pretty much with your eyelid with your eyelid, with your eyelashes. And then just take your tweezers and squeeze together your real eyelashes and your, you know, your eyelashes that you just put on. And there you go. The eyelid is going to dry down. That glue on there is gonna dry down clear. Yeah, so putting on lashes with some tweezers is better than just doing it with your fingers because sometimes you don't get it, you know, set on there properly. But I'm gonna say I did pretty good with that. What you think? You think I did okay with that? I think so too. All right, so now I'm going to take my eyeliner. You guys know that I'm using that LA Girl Glide Gel Eyeliner still. That is my jam. It's laying right here next to me and I'm sitting over here looking at something else. I need to clean my beauty room. One day I just need to take you guys with me so you guys can see my beauty room. It's nothing big, it's nothing major. It's nothing fancy, you know what I mean? Like you don't have to have fancy everything to you know, do everything. Just make do with what you got, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna do my lower lash line now. Okay, so waterline is lined, upper lash line is lined. Now we're going to do bronzer, blush, and highlight. And we're almost finished, guys, we're almost finished. It won't be too much longer. I know it's a long drug out video, but hey, so what makeup does, sometimes it takes a little bit for you to get cute. Bronzer, I'm still using my Physician Formula Deep Bronzer. So I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna switch up the brush. Hopefully it doesn't look splotchy. Or is it splotchy? No, it'd be muddy. Hopefully it doesn't look muddy. And then blush, I'm going to do the Milani Baked Blush in Bella Bellini. I'm loving this bad boy still. I need to give me some more blush palettes. That's what I need to get, but I don't have any right now at the moment, but I will work on that. So I'm using this, applying that on my cheeks, building it up so you guys can see, hopefully. Can you see that? I think you can. I think you see me shining.
I don't know why it is, but it always seems like one side shows more than the other. I don't know why that is, but it is what it is. I don't think I'm going to have to put on a highlight. Do I want to put on a highlight? Okay, so what I'm going to do is, being that we're, you know, using this Morphe 35Y R Escape palette, I am going to take, I think I'm going to mix this color and that color and use it for highlighter. And actually, no, I'm gonna mix this color here too, like this gold color. I'm just gonna mix them all three, all four, and we're gonna go with it. You see how pigmented this is? This is crazy. Like, I love palettes like this that are that pigmented. This is just beautiful, this is gorgeous. Like, this, this is something that's worth your money. Like, you need to get this palette. Like, this right here, that's what it is. And you can just use it as highlighter. You can use it as eyeshadow. You can do whatever. It's a multitask palette. Like, it's beautiful. Even if you wanted to do blushes, you could take a couple of these blushes, you know, or a couple of eyeshadows and use them as blushes that have shimmers in it. That'd be awesome. So here's this, 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 this. Look, like, it doesn't get no better than that. Like, that's just crazy. Get this palette, y'all. If you haven't gotten it, go get it. <sighs> I'm not going to recommend something to you that is not worth your money. If you can go get it, go get it. I'm telling you, go get it. This, this is beautiful. Beautiful. And y'all know me. I like sparkling and stuff. So, yeah, this, that's my thing right here. So, yeah, that's that. All right. So, enough of that. Now, we are going to... I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. You guys know I don't like dew. So I'm gonna use my Black Radiance Matte Spray. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on. And this uh, sprayer is fierce. This spray right here, it's fierce. So make sure you hold it away from your face for real because it is fierce. I'm just telling you, you're welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take the pink here and I'm going to do my lower lash line. Okay. So the pink is on there, as you can tell. So I really like that pink. And now I'm gonna go in with that shimmer that I used in the front on, that front inner corner of my eyelid. So I'm gonna use that color and just go around here in the front of my eye, my waterline and put that on there. So I gotta find me another brush. So I'm just dipping it in here. I'm using this. Let me do my lower lashes. And of course we are using the Essence Curl and Volume Mascara. Let me get my mirror for this. All right, so there's that. Lower lashes are done. And then we'll go ahead and do lips and set the face with a setting powder. And we're done, guys. We're done with this video. I cannot believe this video is this long. If you stayed around, you're a real trooper, and I appreciate you. I appreciate you that you stuck around with your girl while she's doing her face to go absolutely nowhere. So, let me do the brows. So, we're going to go ahead and set the brows before we set our face. And then we'll do the lips and we're done. And I thank you guys for staying around. You know, if you stayed around this long to watch me do my makeup, that is wonderful. You are a true fan. I appreciate you. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my brows. All right, so brows are done. That's why I like to save my brows for last. 
because of all the powders and everything and the sprays and stuff. I like to save those for last. That's just me. Do what works for you. Don't come at me in the comments. That's just what worked for me. I'm sorry. I just do it my way. I'm not trying to copy nobody, but just do it my way. So let's go ahead and set the face. I do have the Wet n Wild uh, Medium Tan Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. You know what I noticed with my skin? I cannot use those mineral-based powders because it like makes my skin look oily. So I like pressed powders like this with like no minerals in it. No advertisement of minerals that I can see anyway, but I wish they had a darker shade. Like if you could go up one more shade, that'd be perfect. So, but yeah, so I'm just gonna press this in my skin. And it doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. We're gonna do lips, guys, and we're done. I'm using the Kiss Lip Liner in brown. So I may just mix two colors, we'll see what happens. Yeah, this is light. My lips are a little bit dark. Okay, so that one's light. We're gonna have to go in with a darker color. Here we go. There's my girl right here. Oh, whatever. So I'm gonna use my Milani Cafe Ole lip liner. Bring back some color to my lips. So I like to put the lip liner on and then rub it in. You know what I mean? Okay, so there's that. So that's that, that's that, that's that. And then I am going to use, I'm trying to figure out which I'm gonna use. No, that doesn't go with my shirt. What is this? All right, so I'm gonna use my Mishko Beauty lipstick and it's in Mishko. This is the color right here. Put it on. There it is, guys. There it is. That's that. We're done. The look is finished. The look is complete. This is it right here, guys. So if you have not played with your Morphe 35 white palette, go do it. Go play with this. This is a bad boy right here. Go get this palette. I do recommend it, it's beautiful, it's very pigmented, it has beautiful colors in here. It is worth your money, I promise you. You can create so many looks with it, like there's blues and purples and browns and golds and yellows and shimmers and mattes and all of it above and purples. You can't go wrong with it, go get it. So that's it guys, I will have more content loading. I'm excited for what I'm about to load here in the near future. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You know, if you're bored, you know, if you don't have anything else to do, go ahead and click, click there, you know, click that button. Go ahead and watch it. I'm there. I got a few videos. Don't judge me because I'm new. So, but I'm getting it. You know, we're going to get it together. Um, and again, I thank you guys for sticking around. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.